in conjunction with this letter lectures, it's important that you also read things in books. Uh, you can find more information on the course site, but I love this Finkelstein book because it's simple and it concentrates on the physics. And I know that's background most of you have in Stockholm when taking this class at least. Finkelstein's book is organized in chapters where each chapter is a lecture, but those lectures are meant to be 45 minute seminars. I will typically cover two of them in each of my online lectures. And in some cases, I'm going to deviate a bit from the book. Finkelstein is not quite as biological as I am when it comes to specific proteins. There are also a bunch of papers I try to collect for you and share at least in Canvas. If you're following this on YouTube, you can likely find these papers yourselves. It's well worth reading Watson. If there's only one paper you're going to read in this entire class, please make it the Watson and Crick paper because it will make you interested in science and we need more smart people going into science. Uh, Fred Sanger's paper is a bit more complicated, but I think it's fun to see because it has turned into such a revolution into modern sequencing. Uh, and this, if you have special interest in structural biology, it's also worth reading this perspective on cryo-electron microscopy. I will re keep making things ma material available there on Canvas, but otherwise these papers are old enough that you should be able to find them online. Again, if you take this locally in Stockholm, we have the benefit that I can spend more time with you. I would love to spend time with all of you online too, but I just don't have that time. But what I do here is I'm going to tell even the local students to just watch this video lectures. The extra benefit is that I can share that with the rest of the world. But what we're going to do after each lecture, we're going to have a seminar where we go through and discuss these study questions I have. And now they're overlapping a bit with the amino acids, but you might be able to bear with that. Go through these study questions. I try to update them here. There might be one or two that doesn't correspond perfectly to what I talked about today because I occasionally move things between slides and lectures. But if it's not here, it's probably going to appear later on in the class. Uh, ask me as much as you want about those things. Please use all resources online. If it's something that you can find the answer to, that's actually a great incentive for you to go and look it up because that's the best way of learning, looking it up yourself. But that's all I have for you today. It was great seeing you and welcome to lecture two.